This is the part I love because when I teach somebody to create a website, this is the part where people say, that's it? Is that simple? Yes, it's that simple. And in today's video, we are going to create, install WordPress, and we are going to create a basic website. Tomorrow we're gonna edit it, we're gonna edit a page, and we're gonna go from there. But if you didn't watch the previous video, the previous video, the first video was about getting your domain name, and the second video was about getting your hosting account, which you need in order to do this step. So if you haven't watched the previous two videos, go on and watch them now in this brand new video series on create how to create a website. So today we are going to install WordPress. Why WordPress? Because it's easier for you to manage it's easier for you to update, to maintain secure, and if you know how to type in an email, highlight and click bold, you can manage and edit this page. It's gonna be so simple. Plus, if you have any questions, always leave them in the comments down below or reach me privately via angelanderson.com, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, really doesn't matter because you can find me anywhere online. Let's get to it, let's get to it. If you bought your domain name through GoDaddy, you need to click your domain name, you need to go and update the name servers or if you up bought the name through any other place but data viking click manage if you bought it through godaddy click on customs enter custom click on enter custom name servers and here you're going to type ns1.dataviking.com and ns2.dataviking.com basically what you're doing is you're telling godaddy hey these the files for this domain.com or whatever extension you're using are going to be hosted on data backing servers and we're going to click ok you're going to click save and once you click save it's going to take a few minutes depending on the company you bought the domain through it might take up to 72 hours if you bought it through data backing don't worry all the settings and everything all the name servers are good to go <laughs> now to the fun part which is installing wordpress and logging into your control panel if you got your web hosting account through data backing all it said just type your domain name forward slash cpanel just like you see in the screen right now cpanel if you got your hosting account through a different company then figure out what the control panel is and how you can install wordpress and then we can move forward through the in the future videos and once you're logged on you're going to see your control panel and really you're going to see a lot of things here and like your space databases that you're allowed to install you name it but what we're really going to do is we're going to scroll to wordpress and we are going to install it once you're ready to install it just follow the steps first window http if you want which www or not. let's leave it without www the next window is if you want to install it in a directory because we're going to install it in the home page we are going to delete that part the next one is going to be the name of the blog or the website, the description. Let's leave it like that for now and we change it later once I give you the backend tour for WordPress. The next step is a username and password. Okay, when it comes to username and password, please use a good username and a password you are going to remember. Now, you, you will have the option to get email to you, but use a username and a strong password. Try not to use the same one that you use in every site. It just, it's a security hole. The next one is the admin email. That's gonna be your email address, not the website address, your email address. Next is the language, English. We're not going to install any plugins and no themes for now. We're gonna click install, but before you click install, below the install button, there is a space for your email address. Enter your email address there, that way the script emails you all the login information just in case you miss fail something, mistype something, or you made a mistake, okay? Click install, and really the process is going to take about a minute or two. Once it's done, you will be able to log into your website. Now it's done. We're going to open the website in a new window, and now we have an empty site. In the next video, we're gonna start customizing the website from the about page, news, blogs, contact forms, etc., etc. Well, I hope you like this video, and if you did, please subscribe, hit the like button, it means more than you think. And if you know, if you have a friend, you know anybody that needs a website and can use this, this video series, please share these videos with your friend. Friends in Facebook, Twitter, really doesn't matter. It means more than you think. I'm Angel Anderson, see you in the next video, peace.